there, my name is Stephanie, this is Matt, and this is little Jasmina, and together we run Edinburgh's first zero waste supermarket, the Eco Larder. The Eco Larder was inspired by this little one. Um, when we were eight months pregnant, we realized just how much kind of plastic was involved with getting a little one, and we wanted to offset um, that wastage by reducing our own plastic. Um, and in Edinburgh, there just wasn't that possibility. So we kind of thought, why not start one ourselves? We were really aware that we were taking on more than just a business for ourselves. This was going to be a, a real social and community effort. So we've been aware of crowdfunding as a, as a way to raise money and we saw that as the best chance to, to get the startup that we needed. And then we started to find uh, routes to funding through, through uh, setting up the company as a CIC. And um, we found uh, First Port in Edinburgh, who are an amazing social uh, enterprise agency. Uh, we did consider a charity, but once we'd started to look into that, it looked far more complicated and because it was just Steph and I starting it, we just thought this is going to be too, too long and we wanted to get cracking, so we chose a kick. Uh, so it just seemed to be the best fit uh, in the end to set up like that. And it was really simple. Once we'd registered the company, we just applied to convert. The most important factor for the success of the Eco Larder is our amazing group of volunteers. They help us with everything from sanding the crates to keeping the shop running. But then beside the volunteers, there's also my mum, who has been our biggest supporter. And without her, this whole thing would not be possible at all. So by far the biggest challenge was settling on a location and finding a premises. Uh, we also balance this with a, another business that we run. We run a yoga studio called Sunshine Yoga in Edinburgh. Uh, so we've had to balance that between the two of us as well as having Jasmina. So we knew we'd taken on a, an absolutely mad six months. In terms of support for the business side of the company, we went through a few different accountants to find the right person for us. Uh, Derek Napier is the right person for us. He really knows how to help with small businesses and every time we get stuck on um, any kind of letters that come in or really don't know what to do, he's incredibly helpful. We just ask him the question. Getting an accountant is to us the most important business support. So a big part of being a kick is to show the social impact and we've been aware of that from the get-go and uh, we are collecting all kinds of data on the plastic that we're saving in the store but also as part of our, our beach cleanups that we run on a monthly basis and also all of the um, upcycling and sustainability workshops that we're running throughout the year uh, so that we'll be able to put a really good report together and hopefully show that the store has done a, a really massive change for, for the better. It has been a huge learning curve um, starting up the Eco Larder. The important lesson I've learned is to just be really brave and lots of energy. You, you're helping people make changes. You're changing the way that they um, shop entirely. So you need to have that energy and the positive energy for people to engage with that. We really hope 2019 continues to be a real year of change on the plastic front. And we can't wait for the next few months of the Eco Larder.